Bridgewell connects people with possibilities throughout their lives. Bridgewell means innovation along a continuum of care, constantly developing new ways to meet the changing needs of adults with developmental disabilities, mental illness, and other life challenges. Twelve years ago, Mark Capitumini came to Bridgewell with intensive medical needs, which made life in a community setting seem like an impossible dream. But Bridgewell rose to the challenge. His house has round-the-clock CNAs, and they have a residential nurse as well. By providing nursing services, Bridgewell has become a model for residential programs also designed to meet challenging medical needs. Long-term resident Michael Sertum also benefits from Bridgewell's continuum of care. Medical needs led to a long-term stay at Tewksbury State Hospital. It was only Bridgewell's ability to change its services to meet Michael's changing needs that permitted him to return to a community setting. Special accommodations were made here at Coolidge Road in Danvers, including a special door to enable his bed to be moved directly outside in case of emergency. Michael even participates in day services at Bridgewell's Boston Street Center in Lynn. We really didn't find out Michael had issues until he was probably um, almost two. They said at that point we should try looking for a place to put Michael. And we said, no way. Michael was at home for 25 years. Someone up above was looking down on us. Bridgewell made sure that any of Michael's needs would be met in this new facility of Bridgewell's. And um, it, it's just a fabulous place and they have wonderful staffing. Mary Denegian and her sister Florence. She was in a nursing home and um, they did absolutely nothing there. They had it pretty well doped up over there. And, uh, you could go in there and spend an hour and you would be lucky if you got three words out of her. But once she got to Bridgewell, they had her up and moving and I didn't think she was ever gonna get up and walk around again. I hear. I'm safe. It provides me with a lot of relief to know that she's getting 24-7 care, which I tried to do for her but was not able to do. And I am very thankful for the people that work here. I can't begin to tell you how super they are. Mark, Michael, and Florence show the importance of not giving up on people with complex needs, not just shipping them off to nursing homes. Bridgewell is able to meet a range of individual needs by constantly evolving our continuum of care. That continuum of care is what the state had in mind for young adults turning 22 and no longer eligible for special education programs. Megan O'Keefe, who just turned 22, is settling in comfortably. Since coming here, she has been very, very happy. The staff is very caring. One of the great things about Megan's transition here and the continuum perspective of, of Bridgewell is that she is growing and developing. It's not her disabilities, it's her abilities that are focused upon and what she is able to do. So it's a focus on her as a person and bringing out the best in her. It's beautiful to see. After turning 22, Kyle Leggett also transitioned from school to adult services. He lives with his parents and participates in the Boston Street Day program in Lynn, where he particularly enjoys state-of-the-art interactive educational tools funded through private donations. At Bridgewell, we not only imagine the possibilities, we make them happen. Along our continuum of care, we also offer residence and support for those who, like George Bright, are capable of independent living. George has um, grown tremendously um, more independently. Um, he's happier with himself. He loves doing things on his own. Every morning, I get up, take a shower. I'm always clean. I do my laundry at night. I do um, bathrooms in the kitchen. Get it all done. I walk around by the beach and all that stuff. Well, I'm looking at them cinnamon sticks. George actually lost 40 pounds when a staff person helped him learn how to cook for himself. By myself, I lost some weight. I've been going to food shopping on Wednesdays. I'm proud of myself being here. Bridgewell is my favorite place. 
Paul Sohovi, former Bridgewell board member. What ties me to Bridgewell is the great sense of mission which um, Bridgewell has, and it's never ceased to amaze me as to how effectively Bridgewell has transformed the lives of those who it touches, and it touches not only the people it serves here, but it also serves the community. And I haven't been on the board four years, but it still draws me there. Board Chairman Chris Vaccaro. What pleases me about Bridgewell is being able to work with a dedicated group of directors, leaders, and employees who work very hard to improve the lives of disabled people who are the most vulnerable among us. Another recent innovation was this duplex on Seagrid Avenue in Saugus, which provides respite or transitional care as needed. Some residents arrive in an emergency until other arrangements can be worked out. Sometimes it's just to provide a break for families that are providing care at home. As many as 200 individuals will stay there in the course of a year. Bridgewell also runs a program for those developmentally disabled who, as they age, add to their medical problems the challenge of Alzheimer's disease. Over more than 50 years, Bridgewell has become a premier provider of services to adults with developmental disabilities, mental illness, and other life challenges in eastern Massachusetts. It has a $42 million budget and serves nearly 3,000 people in 85 locations in 18 communities. It has sustained its commitment despite the economic downturn, which has made the need for Bridgewell services even more compelling. Here at Pathfinder in Lowell, Bridgewell responds to the deepening needs of the growing numbers of homeless, last year providing 42,000 meals at the drop-in center. In the last four years, Bridgewell has more than doubled the number of people with disabilities served by its Counseling Services clinical team in Lowell and through the newly expanded Sovner Center in Danvers. Hundreds receive counseling in those clinical settings, including therapy and medication, enabling them to live in the community. Barbara Butler of Peabody, a patient since 2000. I have a therapist. I take medication. I used to have appointments, then I used to cancel them. Bridgewell helped me, give me appointments and the medication. Bridgewell's getting my life organized. Support makes me feel better. A continuum of care in the community. You know it's there. Whether your sibling needs care beyond your abilities or your lifetime, your child has both cognitive and progressively intensive medical needs, or your friend has fallen on hard times and is on the street. Bridgewell is inspired by the values of caring and respect, reinforced by clinical and other expertise, buoyed by your support. It is you who help us remain a recognized leader in Massachusetts and indeed a provider of choice, trusted and recognized for innovation, professional expertise, care and integrity. It is you who provide the resources we need to connect people with possibilities. It is you who are the underpinning of Bridgewell's ability to provide a continuum of care throughout their lifetime. When I come and I leave, I know that I can leave without worrying about violence. And to me, that's a big thing. The continuum of care means peace of mind for myself and my uh, family, my other children. And I know that, um, you know, when the time comes and I'm no longer around, that Michael has a home. I'm very, very grateful for Bridgeville.